Okay, to do your 3D acquisition for your uterus, whether you're looking for a, a uterine anomaly or a IUD placement, what you're going to do is make sure your 90 VF4 is chosen here in your transducer field. And then also make sure you choose your gynae uh, program here with the star next to it. When you're going to start your acquisition, just make sure you have a nice long uterus on here, whether it's retroverted or antiverted, doesn't matter. Um, just have it nicely um, centered, a nice uh, endometrial line from the vaginal canal up into the fundus. The next thing you're going to do, also make sure your focus is in the right spot, is you're going to come down to your keyboard here and make sure you press the 4D control here and that will also activate your 3D acquisition and you're going to see it splits into a screen here. Here is your acquisition screen and this is where you're going to see um, the sweep being performed by the transducer. Uh, once you hit the update button down here to start the acquisition, you're not going to move the transducer. The crystal in the probe is going to do all the work for you. So we're going to go back to the screen here. I'm going to hit the update control here, and you're going to see it's going to sweep for you for about four seconds. It's doing it a 90 degree sweep, 45 degrees to the right and 45 degrees to the left of midline. Once this comes up in this screen, you're going to want to save it, so you're going to come down to your keyboard here, you're going to press the Clip Store button. When I press the Clip Store button, you're going to get this um, message on the screen, and the only thing you're going to do is click on Save, and it's going to save your volume for you, because you can see volume is automatically checked here. You don't have to name it, just click Save, and it's going to go ahead and save your volume.